Alrighty, everyone, because we got Diversity Week and Culture Week going on, we're going to be uh, reading through this little worksheet here. Looks like they have a passage about diversity, what diversity means, and then a little poem that we can read. And then what we're going to do at the end is we're going to figure out what the message of the poem was, and we'll write our own poem. So let's get right into reading the passage. Diversity. Diversity is about respecting and valuing other people regardless of their skin, physical appearances and abilities, their family traditions, and the way they speak. We all want our dreams to come true and we can reach whatever we want in life. We all have the right to feel loved and included and never go through the painful experiences of rejection and exclusion. Any form of discrimination hurts and leaves scars in our souls that affect our choices, objectives, and ambitions in life. This is why it is important to celebrate the value, to celebrate and value diversity, to feel proud of ourselves, our own traditions, to be proud of who we are, but at the same time, respect others. Remember, we all have feelings and need to be loved and respected. Awesome. So that was the passage, and now we can go into the poem. The poem is titled, We Are the World. We Are One World. And it goes like this. Pierre lives in Canada. Maria lives in Spain. But both ride their bikes along the shady lane. Liv lives in Norway. Ramon is in Peru. But both laugh with the giraffe when visiting the zoo. Anwar is Egyptian, Kim is Japanese, but both run beneath the sun and fly kites in the breeze. Jack is from the USA, Carintha is from Chad, but both can write a poem at night upon a writing pad. Children live all over, the world's a giant ball, but far and near it's very clear we are one world after all. And that was by Mish Goldish. And so what did we think the meaning of that poem was? I think the poem is highlighting how even though we are, there are humans all over the world and we're all spread out far and wide, we are still doing a lot of the same things to stay happy. For instance, writing a poem or running beneath the sun or laughing with a giraffe. Even though we might have different skin colors and we might be from a different area of the world, we can all have similarities in what we do to keep ourselves happy. Alrighty, everyone. So the next worksheet we're gonna be working on is this uh, maze worksheet. Now, I know all of you know how to do uh, mazes, so you can just follow along with me. Yes, I like. 